China's decision to unveil its J-20 stealth fighter on static display for the first time at the 2025 Chongqing Air Show marked an important shift in the way the country presents its most advanced combat aircraft. Until now, the J-20 had only been showcased in carefully orchestrated flyovers, where its lines and flight characteristics could be demonstrated but the public and foreign observers were kept at a distance. The static exhibition represents a more open acknowledgement of the aircraft's place within China's air power structure, and it coincided with the confirmation that the 300th production model has entered service. For military analysts, this double announcement underscored both the scale of the J-20 program and Beijing's growing confidence in its technological maturity. The J-20 was conceived as China's answer to fifth-generation fighters fielded by the United States, with development beginning under the JXX program in the early 2000s. It first flew in 2011 and entered service in 2017, a timeline that highlighted both the pace of Chinese aerospace development and the priority given to fielding an indigenous stealth aircraft. Its design blends features aimed at reducing radar cross-section, including a canard delta wing configuration, diverterless supersonic intakes, and large internal weapons bays. Later production models incorporated radar-absorbent coatings, serrated exhaust nozzles, and avionics upgrades that have moved the aircraft closer to the standards set by American designs such as the F-22 Raptor. With more than 300 units produced, China now operates one of the largest stealth fighter fleets in the world, a fact that is reshaping perceptions of the balance of air power in Asia. Recent images shared by Chinese defense-linked social media accounts have also revealed a less traditional side of the J-20's mission profile. In early September 2025, photos surfaced showing the fighter in what observers have labeled, beast mode. In this configuration, the aircraft carried 12 PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles and 2 PL-10 short-range missiles. Eight of the PL-15s were mounted externally on wing pylons, while the remainder, along with the PL-10s, were housed in the internal bays. This arrangement sacrifices some of the stealth benefits for which the jet was designed, but it highlights the flexibility of the airframe and the Chinese military's willingness to adapt doctrine to operational needs. Analysts believe that such a loadout would allow the J-20 to act as a high-capacity missile platform in scenarios where air defense suppression has already been achieved or where supporting assets can provide detection and targeting. The missile systems carried by the J-20 are central to its effectiveness. The PL-15 is an active radar-guided, beyond-visual-range missile developed by the China Airborne Missile Academy equipped with a dual-pulse rocket motor that enables reported speeds above Mach 5. Its maximum range is estimated between 200 and 300 kilometers, making it one of the longest-reaching air-to-air weapons in service. The export variant, PL-15E, has a reduced range of about 145 kilometers and has already seen combat in 2025, when Pakistan employed it during clashes with India. Reports indicate that Pakistani J-10C fighters successfully used the missile against Indian Air Force assets, including at least one Rafale, and fragments of the weapon were recovered in Indian territory. This first combat use provided rare data on its operational performance and served as a proof of concept for the weapon's effectiveness. The PL-10 complements the J-20's long-range capabilities with a modern short-range solution. Developed by the Luoyang Electro-Optics Technology Development Center, it has been in production since 2013 and is equipped with an advanced imaging infrared seeker, thrust vectoring motor, and aerodynamic strakes that give it extreme agility, reportedly allowing maneuvers at over 60 gs. Its off-boresight targeting range of plus or minus 90 degrees, combined with helmet-mounted queuing and lock-on after-launch capability, place it among the most advanced short-range missiles in service today. In comparative assessments, the PL-10 is often ranked alongside or above Western designs like the Iris-T and AIM-9X, particularly in terms of kinematic performance. Together, 
the PL-15 and PL-10 provide the J-20 with a balanced arsenal suited to both long-distance engagements and close combat scenarios. Beyond weaponry, the J-20 is notable for its advanced avionics and sensor suite. It is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar, distributed electro-optical sensors, and an infrared search and track system that gives pilots multiple avenues of target detection and tracking. These inputs are integrated into a glass cockpit featuring a large multifunction display, wide-angle holographic heads-up display, and helmet-mounted sight system. Such systems allow the J-20 to maximize its weapon's potential, particularly the high off boresight PL-10. Furthermore, its data fusion and networking capabilities enable cooperative operations with platforms such as the KJ-500 Airborne Early Warning Aircraft. This supports tactics such as the A Guide Be Shoot concept, in which the J-20 can fire missiles based on targeting information provided by off-board sensors, reducing its need to activate its own radar and limiting its electromagnetic signature. In terms of propulsion, the J-20 currently operates with Shenyang WS-10C engines, which already provide supercruise capability and feature serrated nozzles to reduce radar visibility. However, China is steadily working to integrate the more powerful WS-15 engine, capable of producing up to 180 kilonewtons of thrust. This upgrade would not only enhance maneuverability and range but also ensure sufficient power for future systems, such as directed energy weapons or more advanced sensor packages. Aircraft specifications list a length of 21.2 meters, a wingspan of 13 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 37,000 kilograms, and a combat radius of approximately 2,000 kilometers. Its speed approaches Mach 2, and it can operate at altitudes up to 20,000 meters. With a maximum payload of around 11,000 kilograms spread across internal bays and external pylons, the J-20 has the capacity for both stealth-oriented missions and high-capacity strike operations. Operational doctrine for the J-20 appears to emphasize versatility. In stealth configuration, the aircraft can carry up to six missiles internally, avoiding detection and maximizing survivability against advanced air defense systems. In beast mode, it transforms into a platform capable of launching massed volleys of long-range weapons, suitable for overwhelming adversary aircraft in permissive airspace or during coordinated operations. The ability to switch between these roles highlights a doctrinal flexibility that mirrors trends seen in Western Air Forces, which increasingly value multi-role adaptability in advanced fighters. For China, this adaptability is particularly valuable as it seeks to establish air superiority across diverse theaters, from the East China Sea to the South China Sea and beyond. The symbolic weight of the J-20's static display at Changchun should not be underestimated. By presenting the aircraft openly, the PLAAF not only underscored its operational confidence but also sent a signal to both domestic audiences and international observers. Domestically, the J-20 is portrayed as a national achievement, demonstrating China's ability to compete technologically with global aerospace leaders. Internationally, the display and production milestones serve as a reminder of Beijing's rapidly expanding defense industrial base and its ability to field advanced systems in large numbers, a capability that few nations can match. Taken together, the public exhibition, the 300th unit milestone, and the revelation of beast mode operations paint a picture of an aircraft that is moving from secrecy into prominence. The J-20 is no longer a developmental novelty or a limited fleet reserved for testing doctrine, it is now a central element of China's air power strategy, deployed in large numbers and capable of multiple operational roles. Its presence forces neighboring air forces and global powers to recalibrate assumptions about regional air superiority. For the United States and its allies, it reinforces the need to modernize and expand their own fleets of fifth, and sixth-generation fighters. For China, 
it represents a demonstration of industrial strength, technological innovation, and a growing readiness to wield air power as a central instrument of statecraft.